Just have to be mounted on the base and some just like sit on the ground. We need some stairs and stuff in here. At some point I have to design like my, my proper hover cycle and things. Uh, made a detector going mining. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, that was Job doing that. I guess one of the advantages is that if you you don't have to access... Oh, someone's making an assault rifle. Um, that's right, the output is going to go in the same box as the input. So if I crafted anything, it'd be in here. Yeah, because I was, was just going to say, it's, it's nice that we don't have to... What? Did I build my multi-tool though? Whiskey and chocolate. I have to check the whiskey and chocolate in a second. Did someone take the multi-tool? I must have just not started it. I'm clearly on the crack. Because I had to unlock it. That's right. I had to go and unlock it. Where's the multi-tool? Right here. And then multi-tool needs its own... Oh, we need Promethean. We need to go and mine some Promethean. Anyway. So apparently the Sky Shrine has laser cannon turrets and patrols walking along with the RPGs. Drake, that sounds like fun. We should definitely go and rip that bad boy apart. All right, where's my hover bike? I think someone's probably taken it, and that's fine, because I encourage people to do so. So, um, I mean, if we want more silicon and stuff, it's there. Hopefully other people are mining and then dumping it into rocks. The only Promethean we know about is way down here. It'd be nice to get a hover cycle to get there, wouldn't it? Um, how many more Prometheums are there? Two of eight we found. Okay, one there, one way down there. Oh, shoot, okay. Solar, oh, thank you. Uh, someone tilted the hover over and doesn't know how to put it right up again. Uh, Kaz, if you're in the hover bike, assuming it's talking about you or whoever's in it, uh, when you're in it, just hit O or hold down O, it'll, um, it'll level yourself off again. Uh, solar, solar, nice. Boom, boom. So this has to be connected to the base somehow. Um, so where's south? It doesn't actually matter. South is this way, so our solar panel should face this way. And so, there we go. We do something like that. Uh, let's back up F5 so I can actually fly up here. Because it feels like that might be nice. Oh, someone's already working on a staircase. Like. Is this going to disturb the design? Oh, can't go any lower than this? Oh! Yeah, but it's not great. Oh yeah, I used up all my fuel. You know what? I'm just putting it here. We can move it later. <laughs> It's a little nuts, but that's okay. We can totally just move it later. So now we should be getting solar power. Um, can I put an order at the constructor for some biofuel? Is it not under here? The other fuel components are, but maybe not. It might be under... Right there. Put in order for a bunch of biofuels. Other people constructing things, that's fine. We'll overlap. How does the power situation... Can we get some info on that? So it's at zero fuel. Very little power. So things are going on and off. Is our solar power not enough? Current output, 32. Consumption, 18. Or is this just power being produced from fuel? One panel's not enough? Seriously? Well, someone's probably gonna have to queue up some more solar panels. How come the input's empty? Did someone go and take everything? 
Oh no, it's got mass. No, no, it doesn't. How come things are in this instead of the other one? Anyway, there's my multi-tool. to like set this as your your spawn spot there's a way to do it I mean it's lit up but yeah um, queue up a couple more solar panels ah home spawn okay so I think anyone can do this. If they jump on the base and they click this, you'll respawn over at this clone chamber. I mean, I know it's just a big old mess right now, but that's okay. And yeah, things are toggling on and off. I suppose to help with the construction, I could, if I had any fuel, load it in here. I want some fuel for my drill, which is part of what I'm doing here, but. Maybe connect capacitor. There is a capacitor. Um, right here. Is there something else I have to do to make it run? Yeah, and I haven't played since version 6. Pastor is not active. Is it? Maybe someone toggled it off, although it still doesn't seem to be enough. Wait, current output, 2.5 million. Consumption is five. Did someone just toggle the power off? No. Maybe that's just the system toggling on and off. Hang on a sec. This base is now private. Only me. Someone may have toggled that just now, but I don't think that's the issue. Is it just me, or does the output seem a lot higher than the consumption? You need to toggle off your fuel generator if you want to see your solar output? Why? That seems really dumb. Or does it... Okay. Maybe it just doesn't show up in that other graph? Well, I can't toggle this off. Oh, that's the fuel tank. Hold on. Power none. Oh, there we go. Okay, so 29 KPU is what the solar panel can do. So it's still coming in fits and starts for some reason. You need to get some Prometheum up in here. Why'd that go down? Yeah, it burns through the power in, like, just a few minutes. That's crazy. All right. So right now, I still have the base locked to just me temporarily here. I'm going to cancel the biofuel production. I'm just going to make sure that we, we've got this powered up without people necessarily changing things. Not, I'm not really blaming anyone. I'm just making sure there's not too many cooks. Capacitor is the only battery. The other capacitors are decorative only for now. Wait, what? Make a battery to even out the output. Capacitor is the battery. You can't make another one. Battery only accepts solar power. Right. I think are you you guys are answering other uh, Arpipio's questions, right? Because this capacitor is what we're looking for. But yeah, I think we need more solar panels, which we are constructing now.
shame they're so freaking big and ugly. They're like crazy ridiculously big. Boom. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'll be changing the permissions in just a second here. Maybe we will just do things with fuel. Can you have multiple capacitors? All right, so at this point, I'm gonna take the generator offline. So output is 74. So I guess this meter never fills up from capacitors. This is just, is just, just related to the fuel thing. Cause it looks like now we're running full time. Nice and green. I'm going to attempt to queue up. Uh, actually what I'll I maybe do is just open it up to everyone again. Again, I was just, it's not that I didn't trust anyone. It's just, I want to make sure that like, we didn't have multiple people clicking things. Sentry guns. Oh yeah, and we need an armor locker. Hold on, can we get an armor locker? I don't have any unlock. Let me unlock an armor locker. I'll build that and then people can start to um, kit themselves out. Right here. Unlocked. Use this. Build an armor locker. Pick up a light armor. And I'll place both. Let me change the permission back to our faction so anyone can access this. Power 518 is a lot higher than 73. I guess when this constructor runs, it's just mental. So solar power is totally not functional at all. Is that what I'm seeing? Is that possibly true? I seem to remember it being a thing before where all I use is generators because it turned out solar panels were crap. Solar is good if you're not building all the time. The problem is you don't see the names when you mouse over things and that drives me crazy. You see the name when you get in. Um, yeah, these are, that's right, these are named wrong. This one here is actually input. And this is just like spare storage. There. Armor locker. We still need more space. Why wouldn't it show it in the tooltip? Why wouldn't they add that in? <laughs> Our base is a little full, but that's okay. I guess I'm hiding the uh, input locker here now, but. <clears throat> it's whiskey and chocolate. Uh, what's that about the capacitor? Oh, you go Finn! Hey, I know I've, I've got to check some uh, whiskey and chocolate here. Hold on. Weather does affect maximum power output. Solar panels have two sets of light. I want to tell you the average output and one the current one. Man, I need to get freaking jumpy jumpy. Ow! I broke my leg. Amazing. Bandages are a trauma kit. I don't have either. I was just trying to get on top of this thing. Oh, man. I think it'll go away in, 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 you know, 71 minutes. Did I get the armor done yet? No, does that just take that long to build? It might be power shortages. Um, I guess what we can do is we can keep the uh, generator on and people can just, you know, feed the generator. If people can come back with a bunch of Prometheum, that'd be really nice. And that was going to be what I was doing here. 
Armor locker. Get some armor. We got some boosters now. We could, like, pick those up. Whew. Bandages! Oh! Thank you! Does bandages fix broken legs? Yes, it does. Oh, thank you. All right, let's eat some fruit juice. Lovely. I guess the bandages heal me as well, but there you go. I like how it looks like we're, we're stormtroopers. <laughs> up front, up close, it looks a little bit more like a leather suit, but further away, it just looks like body armor. All right. I guess we got a small solar panel. Right, so what was it? I wanted to check. Okay, first, I'm going to check the whiskey and chocolate fund. I'm going to check that, and I'm going to catch up on chat, because there's clearly some people in the chat who know what they're talking about. So it'll be great. Um, we had mind a lot. Thank you very much for the contribution to the whiskey and chocolate fund. Oh my god, is it 4.39? We've got 40 minutes over our normal stream time. And I don't know if A Kiss for Luck is streaming right now. It would not surprise me if the answer was no. I hope the answer is no, because I feel bad. No, she's streaming! Uh, okay, we're gonna go, here's the thing, what's gonna happen. We're gonna go and do a raid on A Kiss for Luck in a second. After I read the uh, the dashboard comments here, and after I catch up on chat a little bit, we're gonna raid A Kiss for Luck who's playing House Flipper. I'm gonna keep playing this, though, um, but not recorded. So if you're a sub, if you're in the game, stay in the game. We're gonna keep derping around in here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to check the wiki, I think, for how to, like, work this fabricator. And we'll probably have to come up with a strategy for, like, sharing this stuff. Well, probably it's gonna happen. After we bootstrap here, people are gonna have their own houses. Um, and then we won't have to worry about fighting over stuff. The power situation still annoys me greatly though. Man, I have to try not to break my leg again. Um, but yes, let me read the contributions of the Whiskey and Chocolate Fund. So there was, yes, mind a lot who came in and said, if I learned anything, it is build more than two turrets before powering up your spaceships. Yeah, like the thing is, I, again, I don't know how things have changed in Alpha 9, because last time I played was either six or seven, I don't know. But you turn on your base and then you were gonna get attacked, period. Doom. So you need to make sure you get some, some turrets down immediately. So I don't know if that's still the case. We'll see. And Yuko Finn, hey! Happy this year. May your life become better. Well, thank you very much, Yuko Finn. My life is already pretty damn close to perfect, so it's hard to imagine it getting better, but I'm always trying to improve, so we'll cross our fingers on that. And then Yuko Finn came in again. He says, uh, you something busy, but any plans for programming streams? Uh, yes. Um, it, I considered doing it this weekend, but, um, there is, first of all, there's going to be keeping a programming stream every month, if at all possible. And I also want to do some more YouTube content for the uh, the Forex strategy game that we're working on. Because I think that's a fun, 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 fun project. Um, and we are going to catch up on Twitch chat now. Um, because, again, I'm going to scroll back a little bit and try to figure out, because I remember the power thing being weird. I think I always ended up just fueling everything. You can make tons of power out of, like, Promethean um, pellets, and basically, like, you've got infinite amounts of power, it's really easy to do. But it always feels like we should be able to do something with solar panels, shouldn't we? A single constructor requires at least five panels, possibly more, wow. Um, but again, if we have more, um, uh, if we have more capacitors, can you stack multiple capacitors and therefore having a higher solar charge kicking around? Does that work? Because it should, in a sense. Use supportable constructors for anything you can at this stage, especially fuel creation, right? That makes sense, because otherwise you're spending fuel to make fuel. That totally makes sense, Damon. Uh, you may want to turn off your constructor when not use it. It, it drains ungodly amounts of, of power while in standby. Wow. Need better tech unlock? Maybe there there are other styles of solar panels. Right, that's one thing I forgot about. When you're placing things in this game, when you're placing blocks, and we haven't really showcased that. I don't, I don't suppose there's like a block kicking around here, is there? Let me put down my personal constructor. I might have to like steal some things here. Uh, oh yeah, there are some concrete blocks. I'm gonna steal some of them. So if you go to here and you're placing on the blocks, that's what the little tag is. That's what that little icon is. I can't remember how you change the style, but that little arrow, oh, right mouse button to unfold group. There it is. That's right. And you got curved bits. Man, we had so much great fun. Like these kind of connectors and with, between this and the paint tool and the texture tool, you can make these blocks look like anything. And you can make stuff look like sci-fi. Um, there's a lot of room for creativity. If anything, like look at the old Imperian videos I used to have on my channel. Like it is sick what you can do. You can make little, little round domes and stuff. I mean, right now it's just like maximum functionality. We'll put down a concrete slab and then go from there. 
But yeah, um, I, could, I could put down some little examples, almost. But I don't want to, like, be disruptive. But still, like, let's say you put that down. So that's an interesting little shape. And then if we did build the paint tool, which I can't... I don't know if I can build from here. I suspect the answer might be new. I, I don't know if I've unlocked it, actually. Hold on. Tools. Texture and symbol tool. And where's the coloring? Where's the paint tool? Oh, color tool is unlocked from the start. Okay. And it looks like the answer is no. It looks like we have to craft it from here. Color tool. Texture and symbol tool. And this is where the fun begins. Especially, concrete will always look kind of concrete-y. Um, but if you get, like, the metal or the wood, and actually the, the textures that you have available change depending on what tool you use. Oh, yeah, I want to make a biofuel, which is fiber. So if I grab all these plant fibers over here and go here and do this and just make all the biofuel. And then I can keep this thing powered up. There you go. Paint tool. So this is the color tool. Right click to choose the color. Um, this applies to the whole block. What's the configure button? Well, that's new. Okay. Oops. There you go. Paint things lightly in red. Uh, this did paint both sides. Or do you do this for a single side? No. Maybe with this piece you always do all four sides? What about a square piece over here? Ah, there we go! There. So now we're only, like, I'm only doing one part of this block. Do one side red. Do one side bright green. Oh, I screwed up my red part. We can make a giant Rubik's Cube. Um, and then, no, not here, but here. I can grab, there we go, the texture and symbol tool. And then you have even more fun, because then you can start texturizing things. Some of the textures can combine with colors, others do not. And uh, there's two pages, whoops, two pages. Second page should have, I guess if you're, oh, symbols, there it is, right? Oh yeah, that's right, you can rotate by continuously spamming this. Drop the Q spam all over the place. Lots of pages. Um, you know, put down some biohazard stuff. Uh, and then if you've got a symbol, and then you... There's a way to combine this with the coloring. There's a way to, co to color... The... The symbol, is there not? Can I not change the color of the, the biohazard? Not make it white? Oh, the, I forgot the scroll. Second page of the texture tool actually has a bunch of metal and stuff for concrete block. That's true too. Yeah, just one more thing. From the symbol tool. Yeah, we are supposed to be raiding. It's just, it's just so great, you know? But yeah, even on concrete, you can have things that look like metal. But then, depending... Oh, and I think the lights of this blink on and off with the power as well. Yeah. This is this is showing you the power of the thing. Uh, it's like, oh, and you can make things that look so great. You can make things look layered. They're so good. Anyway. Okay, we have to wrap it up here. Um, but yeah, if you've got a creative streak, you can make really slick looking stuff. So we're going to have to go raid A Kiss for Luck. Uh, I'm going to keep playing here. In an hour, Barstone's going to be streaming as well. So that's going to be excellent. I'm going to get a drink and we're going to keep doing something. I don't know. Maybe I'll build a second hover vehicle or something or start on private housing. I mean, at some point we'll have to like set up our housing all over the place and people can feel free to like just claim any area they want. Just go nuts. It doesn't make a difference. It'll be fine. And at some point we'll go into space because you can go into space and you can mine asteroids and you can go to the moon and you can get like hyper warp capable vehicles that go to other planets and find rare materials. It's great stuff. All right. Uh, could have invited Ava instead. Okay, raid a kiss for luck. Thank you very much for watching, folks. I should be able to see you on Monday for some Kerbal, assuming everything works according to schedule. Bye!